Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Santos. Hello. Good evening, Santos Bolaño. How are you today? Hello, good evening, welcome, welcome. Okay, oh, okay, okay. So no worries, Santos. <laughs> ¿Y cómo vamos a hacer? You are the only one here, so how can I teach you? <laughs> okay, so welcome. Welcome, Santos. Welcome. <laughs> Uh, hello, Santos. Jose Arturo, how are you today? Um, hello, teacher. Um, very fine. Oh, okay. How was your vacation? Oh, great. Great? Yeah, great. Nice, nice. nice. Okay, welcome, very... welcome. Welcome, Eric. How are you today, Eric? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, class. Good evening. All right. So I find I find nice. To be, okay, I nice to see nice. you. Okay, thank you. What about you now, Santos? Um, what about now? I don't hear you. Okay. Uh, welcome, Brian. How are you today, Brian? Uh, good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Where are you, Brian? <laughs> Here in my house. <laughs> uh, you feel like, yeah, I'm a sleepy uh, yeah. teacher. I'm a yeah. sleepy teacher. No, no, no. <laughs> don't don't get asleep, okay? <laughs> don't teach. Okay. Okay, so welcome everyone. So how was your vacation? Who wants to share about your vacation? Dele un, un toque a su computadora o al teléfono, Santos, para que le funcione eh, su micrófono. <laughs> oh, córtelo en pedazos y luego lo une con tijeras, and I'm pretty sure it's going to work out. Va a funcionar así. <laughs> okay, so, um, Brian, how was your vacation, Brian? Um, my vacation was fine. I, I do not... No salí mucho. I didn't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. Go out. I didn't ah. go out. Ah, okay. Why? Because there is too many people. There is or there were? Mm -hmm. mm, there were. Aha, uh -huh. good. Simple past. Simple, good. There were. Simple past, yes. Ah, okay. How about you, Eric? Thank you, Brian. How about you, Eric? How was your vacation, Eric? Oh, my vacation is fine. I spend my time with my family at at, at the homes, homes with uh, with each one, the cada uno. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Because uh, the the places uh, were many people. Oh, okay. So, so uh, um, huh? go ahead. Go ahead. Continue. Ah, okay. Um, for for this, um, we we prefer expending the time in the houses. Oh, okay. So but you're the family. Okay. So your vacation was was nice. Was nice. Okay. Okay. Remember that we uh we are expressing simple past. That's why we need to consider that that we need to use simple past sentences, simple past verbs, simple past expressions. Okay. Okay. So welcome, Elsie. Okay. How are you today, Elsie? 
Good afternoon. Okay. Uh, good. 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 Okay, good. It's good to see. Uh, it's good to have you in here today. Welcome. Welcome, Marvin. How are you today, Marvin? Well, it seems that Marvin is not here. Okay. So um, thank you one more time. So I hope, uh, I don't know, Santos, Santos, are you there? Veo que se ha congelado Santos allí. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe um maybe his microphone is still not working. Marvin. Oh, okay. Anyway, um today I'm going to start sharing um, the presentation that we're gonna continue talking about today. Okay, today we're gonna be talking about food past experiences. In other words, uh some experiences about eating. Who likes eating? Do you like eating fast food? Yes? Yeah. Yes. What is your favorite food, Jose Arturo? Um, hamburger. Hamburger? Pizza. Okay. Pizza. All right. And, and tortas mexicanas. Oh, okay. Mexican. Uh, you can say Mexican tortas. So, well, I would Mexican. say tortas. Me. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Brian? What's your favorite food? Um, my favorite food is hamburger, pizza, tacos. Tacos? Oh, nice. Tacos. Okay, good. How about you, Eric? What's your favorite food? Oh, my favorite food is uh, no, pastas. Oh, pastas. Okay, good. That's good. All right, nice. Who who wants to share about his or her favorite food now? I have Elsie, I have Santos, I have Marvin. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, my favorite food is uh, chicken. Oh, chicken. Okay, good. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Chicken is my favorite food. All right. So we're going to talk about food, food pass experiences. All right. Let's go. Uh, what is the objective for today's class? Um, by the end of the class, the student will practice asking questions in the present perfect using have you ever and describing their past experiences by responding in both the present perfect and simple past. Okay, so I have a question for you. What did you do last vacation? Necesito un voluntario, uno o dos voluntarios que, que compartan sus experiencias. What do you do last vacation? Um, I went to know uh, the Apastepeque Lake. Lake or lagoon? Lagoon. Um, laguna. Laguna, lagoon. Lagoon, it's spelling, lagoon. it's... L A G O O N Lagoon 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 okay if it is a laguna right if it is a lake well like Coatepeque Lake yes because it's bigger oh. bigger mm -hmm. okay oh, what else great thank you okay. mm -hmm. what else Jose um I I went to the the Palacio Nacional Oh, okay. And learn and, and learn learn about um, San Salvador story. Oh, okay, okay, and, good. And 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 very interesting people. Okay, good. Thank you, Jose. Okay, the history of San Salvador. Okay, history. Okay, because <clears throat> if we say story, is different. Okay. See? Okay. Story is like something that is not true. History. But history, it's something that okay. is true history. about the past. 
<coughs> Sorry. Ok. Ok, thank you. Santo Bolaño se, se me congeló la compu y el cel no me funciona. El audio. I'm sorry. You are forgiven. Mm -hmm. Ok, who else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más me quiere contar acerca de sus vacaciones? What do you do last vacation? Vamos, lo veo bien callado. Bueno, si no, yo voy a escogerlo, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver a lo, al que se vea que se me está durmiendo más. Vamos a ver quién se me está durmiendo más. Eh, si, no, hombre, si solo todos tienen la cámara apagada. So, how can I see that? Ah, ok, vamos a ver Marvin, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver Marvin, vamos a ver Eric. Vamos a ver Brian. <ríe> Veo que está más abre en los ojos, ¿por qué será? Vamos a ver Elsie. <ríe> Vamos a ver. No, un voluntario. ¿Quién me quiere compartir? What do you do about last vacation? Marvin, thank you so much. Marvin es un buen voluntario. ¿Ah, ¿Huh, Marvin? Sure, I don't have vacation. Oh, really? You didn't have vacation? Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. You didn't? You didn't have vacation? Yes. Oh. So what do you do yesterday? Okay, tell us. What do you do yesterday? Yesterday, uh, yesterday was Saturday. Saturday I mean, Sunday. <laughs> Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, in the morning, uh, I, I stayed in my home. Mm -hmm. uh, in the afternoon, I went to work. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not really interesting. Okay, but thank you. Thank you so uh, much. Nothing. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's move on very quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to do an activity very quickly. All right. Lo que quiero que haga, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Look, we are about to play a game. You will need to open your camera. If your answer is yes to the question I ask. Por ejemplo, look, le voy a hacer la pregunta siguiente. Have you ever been to Guatemala? Si ustedes alguna vez han estado en Guatemala, van a encender su cámara. Si no, la van a tener apagada. ¿Ok? ¿Está claro esa actividad? Es un juego que vamos a hacer ahorita. Have you ever been to Guatemala? Si les pregunto, ¿qué tienen que hacer? Yeah. No. What? What? No, lo no. Que sí, ok. Sí. Todos tienen que tener apagadas sus cámaras. Si yo lo pago, la vamos a apagar. Ajá, si ustedes mm -hmm. han ido a Guatemala, van a encender sus cámaras. Si no, pues la van a tener apagada. Mm -hmm. Si la pregunta, eh, any question that I ask, cualquier pregunta que yo haga. Ok. Por ejemplo, un ejemplo. Así, pues, un ejemplo es. Do you like pizza? Do you like pizza? Si la respuesta es yes, a esa van a encender la cámara. Si la respuesta es no, van a tener apagada la cámara. Ok, hagamos una prueba. Vamos a ver, apaguen sus cámaras. Vamos a ver, everyone, turn off your cameras. Ok, la voy a apagar. Ok, everyone, no de mí. No sé si me enten, entendió, Hello, la entendió la actividad que estamos haciendo ahorita. ¿No? No. Bueno, eh, yo voy a estar haciendo preguntas. Si la respuesta a esa pregunta okay. es sí, en su caso va a encender su cámara. Si no, la va a tener apagada. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Ok, vamos a hacer la prueba. Everyone. Did you take a shower today? Vamos a ver. Yes, a ver. I did. <laughs> ah, solo Elmer no se bañó hoy. Okay, did you take a shower today, Elmer? 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 Okay. Bye. Ya entendieron, right? Vamos a la siguiente. Okay, turn off your cameras. Turn off your cameras. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you go to the beach last vacation? Oh, 
Okay. Okay, next question. Oh, oh, only Jose, only Jose. Okay, good. Next question. Have you ever been drunk? Have you ever been drunk, huh? to be honest? Never? Okay. Next question, next. Have you ever been to Guatemala? Guatemala, Guatemala, let's see. Okay. Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Vamos a la siguiente. Vamos a ver a la siguiente. Give me a second. Give me a second right now. A ver, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second, please. Okay. I'm looking for something right here. Give me a second. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Are you ready for the next one? Okay. The next one is... Vamos a ver, apaguen sus cámaras. Okay. Do you like chicken? Okay, good, good. Okay, the next one. Let me see the next one. Okay, I'm, go I'm looking for something right now. Give me a second. Okay, here it is. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, next. Have you, okay, apaguen sus cámaras, por favor. Okay, apaguen sus cámaras. Next question. Next question. Jose Arturo, turn off your camera. Okay. No, sorry, teacher. Okay, Santos, apague su cámara, turn off the camera, Santos. Okay, next. Have you ever broken the law? Have you ever broken the law? Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you, Eric. Okay, but good. Next, next, next question. Vamos a ver. Have you ever stolen something? Have you ever? Stolen something. Ajá. No creo que nunca se han robado algún dulcito cuando estaban chiquitos. No les creo. Esa es una gran mentira. Uh -huh. el, el vuelto ah, de la mamá. Ajá, el vuelto de la mamá. Un dulce. <risa> una tortilla de más. Una tortillita. Ah, I don't believe you. No les creo si ni, ni una vez <risa> se han robado el vuelto de sus mamás cuando ustedes estaban pequeños. Ok, uh -huh. next. Next, vamos a ver, apagamos nuestra cámara. Next. Have you ever, okay, have you ever spent a lot of money? Have you ever spent a lot of money on something? I don't know. It could be something. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, next. Pagamos nuestra cámara. Next. Okay. Have you ever swum in a, in a river? Swam. Have you ever swum in a river? In a river? Vamos a ver. Okay, good. Apagamos nuestra cámara. Next. Vamos a ver la siguiente. La última. The last one. Okay, have you ever seen a bad movie? Bad movie. Yeah, bad movie. Have you ever seen a bad movie? What movie? ¿Qué película? Y con eso terminamos. Uh -huh. What movie? Tell me. Noemi? What movie? Su micrófono está apagado, Noemi. Uh -huh. The movie Las Pesadillas de Freddy. Oh, bad movie. Okay, Eric, thank you, Noemi. Eric, what bad movie have you watched? 
So is one time uh, the movie names is uh, La Noche de los Muertos Vivientes. Oh my God! You got you guys love scary movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mar movie. okay, Bad movie. <laughs> okay, Marvin. What about you, Marvin? What bad movie have you watched? Marvin? Se me fue Marvin. Ronnie, what about you, Ronnie? Ha, what, what bad movie have you watched? Uh, La Monja. Oh. Uh, Mark, number two. Okay. Mark, Mark, uh huh. Uh, Bad movies. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I see ten movies. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Veo que solo películas de miedo le gustan a ustedes. I can see that. Solo uh, esas. Action. So, huh? action. So, action movies. Uh, action. I, I see the I see the the movie. Uh, yeah. uh, eh, que se llama, son series, se llama Mi Primer Mandado, que son unos niños de dos años. Mi Primer son Mandado. Coreanos y los mandan a hacer un mandado. Oh. Very good. Good or bad? Good or bad movie? Hello, hello. Ok. Uh, thank you for your participation. Vamos a la siguiente, okay? As I mentioned, today we're going to talk about food. Go to the chat and tell me three food names that you know. Vamos al chat. Go to the chat, please, and type three food names. Vamos al chat. Okay, uh, I'm waiting for the food names. Okay, fish, tomatoes, bananas, good. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Vamos a ver. Pizza. Okay, pizza, Brian. Vamos a ver. Chicken, fish, cereal. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay, fried fish, hamburger, hot dog, Chinese food, fish, yogurt, beans, fish, cereal, good, salad, excellent, carrot, carrot, milk, okay, carrot, <laughs> pupusas, <laughs> okay, okay, let me see, Brenda, meat, meat. Okay, beans, onions, meat, vegetable, cheese. Cheese, okay, cheese. Okay, good, good. Cheese. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué otro vocabulario acerca de comida saben? Do you know? Mm -hmm. Oil. Mm -hmm. Oil, good. What else? Okay, so yes, so today, basically, we're going to be talking about vocabulary related to food. I'm pretty sure you mentioned some of them, okay? You mentioned, for example, French fries, chicken, hamburger, soup, fish, cereals, sausages, cake, rice, cheese, fried eggs. Do you like eggs? Do you like eggs? Yes. Okay. How do you say, for example, oh, noodles? Yes, exactly. Noodles. Con doble O, José Arturo. Noodles. Okay. How do you say huevo and torta? I know you like huevo and tortas, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. How do you how do you say huevo and torta in English? 
Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Oh, you don't That's know. Omelette. Huh? Omelette. omelette. Yes, it's omelette. omelette. Yes, omelette. omelette. Yes, omelette. Good. La diferencia es que en Estados Unidos, you know, it looks, aha, thank you, Brenda. The omelette looks like, como que si fuera un taco. ¿Ustedes? No, un burrito. Yeah. Como que fuera un burrito. Yeah. Like a burrito. Pero, pero dentro colocan qué? Sausage, uh, spinach, uh, cheese, uh, what else? Turkey, bacon, todo. Y es como un burrito. That's why they call it omelette. But here in El Salvador, omelette is para nosotros el huevo, el huevo en torta. Que le echamos tomate, cebolla, chile, everything on the top. ¿Verdad? ¿Sí o no? Okay. So how do you say huevo duro? For example, you say, oh, I want to get a huevo duro. How do you say huevo duro in English? Huevo duro. Vamos a ver. Pues vamos a aprender vocabulario de comida. ¿Mm? Porque eso es lo que más comemos, ¿verdad? Huevo, huevo, huevo in the morning, huevo uh, uh, in the afternoon, and huevo uh, uh, for dinner. How do you say huevo duro in English? ¿Alguien sabe? Hard egg. What? Hard egg? No. It's boil egg. Boil egg, como huevo hervido. Boil egg. Ok. Si traducimos literalmente sería como huevo, huevo duro, ¿verdad? Like hard, hard egg. Ok. Ahora, ¿cómo se dice, how do you say huevo estrellado en inglés? Uh oh, how do you say huevo estrellado? Right egg. Ah? Egg. What? Can you see the picture? Fried egg? Well, yes. Fried egg, but it's in general. A fried egg puede ser cualquier, ah. cualquier tipo de huevo. Conta que sea frito es cualquier ah. tipo de huevo. Uh -huh. but, but right now we're being specific. ¿Cómo cree que se dice huevo estrellado? Right Espero egg. que mañana digan en la mañana, I want huevo estrellado, pero que no lo digan en español, que lo digan en inglés. I want, and you say it. Ajá. Ajá, ¿alguien? 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 Scramble egg. Mm, ahí era el otro que iba a llegar, pero scramble egg. ¿Qué es scramble egg? Huevo revuelto. Oh, huevo revuelto, correcto. Scramble. Huevo scramble revuelto. Egg, huevo Ajá, yes. Huevo revuelto. Uh -huh. Well. Huevo en, ¿cómo es este tipo? Um, huevo um, estrellado es sunny side up egg. A ver, tal vez le entienden por qué. Bien. Sunny como un sol. Sunny, side. Okay. sunny side up mm -hmm. egg. Ajá. Si ustedes ven, el huevo se ve como que fuera el sol y está brillante. Eso es sunny side up egg. Ok. Ok. Ahora ya saben cómo decir huevo en torta, huevo estrellado, huevo picado y huevo, ¿cómo? Huevo estrellado. Okay. So tomorrow you can tell me, hey teacher, hey teacher, this morning I ate sunny side up eggs and I ate uh, a, cof, a cup of coffee and bacon. ¿Sí? Ok. Good. Yes. How do you say Huevo ranchero. Oh, that's another one. Well, I would say, let me see, huevo ranchero. That's a good question. I would say <laughs> sunny side egg with tomato, but I'm, I'm not sure what is the right yes. way to say it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the right way to say it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and by the way, um, let me look it up. Voy a buscarlo ahorita porque honestly, I don't know how to say that. Uh, huevos rancheros in English, let's say. Hmm, let me see. <laughs> well, I don't know, but uh, here it says, uh, according to Google, according to Google, not according to me, according to Google, 
Huevo Ranchero is a I don't I don't think I don't think this is the right way, but that's what it says internet. Mm -hmm. It's a ranch style eggs. Ranch style eggs. Ranch style egg. See? Ranch style egg. Huevos rancheros. Ranch style. And by the way, I love ranch style eggs. Do you like huevos rancheros? Yes. They are very yes, good. I like. Yes. Especially yes, like. with cheese. Okay. With cheese and coffee and wow, it's just delicious. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Today, as I said before, we're going to be talking about food. So what is the craziest food that you have ever eaten? The craziest food. Y no me van a decir carne de caballo, right? <laughs> ¿Cuál es la cosa más loca que han comido? Tell me. Mm. ¿No han comido nada loco o algo que sea exótico? Me. Yes, yes. Me. Yes, Noemi. Pupusas, pupusas en, en middle. Um, en middle? Milk. Milk. Pupusa and milk together. Yes. Sin, sin salsa, sin curtido, sino con la leche. Wow. I just try, I'm processing the taste. ¿Cómo es el taste? El sabor. Pupusa con eh, leche. Deli pupusa con leche. Delicious. Delicious. Eh, no sé cómo llegué a comer eso. <laughs> Okay. Pero okay. me. Pero era pupusa revuelta o de queso. No, no. Eh, pupusas, eh, beans, beans, beans uh -huh. and loroco. Oh. With milk. Wow. Eh, eh, okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Sería? Leche sin hervir. Oh, like um, raw, like raw milk, like como leche. Um, leche leche cómo se llama el, el, cómo se llama esa leche que no está miel de miel de cow de la vaca recién salida de vaca oh Eso. cow milk okay cow milk okay okay that's very unusual that is not something that okay <laughs> but thank you Noemi quién más tell me something that you have eaten something crazy that you have eaten <clears throat> or you have prepared lo que ustedes han preparado. Uh -huh. ah, ok, so no worries. I, I need four volunteers. Necesito cuatro voluntarios para que me lean cada uno de estos. South Korea, Brazil, Morocco, and Singapore. South Korea. Who wants to listen uh, South Korea? Me. Ok, go Marvin. Uh, beef marinade with soy sauce and other spices. Thank you. Brazil. Who wants to read about Brazil? Brazil. Me teacher. Go, go, Brenda. In Brazil, feijoda, mm -hmm. a dish made of black beans, garlic, spice, and meat. Thank you, Brenda. Morocco. Uh -oh. Morocco. Morocco. Okay, me. Um, okay. as to as to of vegetable, lamb, fruit, and and spices, cooked in a clay dish. Thank you, Singapore. Singapore. Me teacher. Okay, go, Noemi. Singapore fish hair curry, a dish made from a fish hair cooked in a rich curry sauce. Okay, thank you. Okay, vamos. Vocabulario nuevo. What is a new vocabulary? Tell me, new words. Vamos aquí primero en South Korea. Any new word? 
¿Hay alguna oh. palabra nueva? ¿Ah? Soy. Ma marinated. Marinated. No. Soy. Uh, What marinated. Is What is soy? Uh -huh. No es que sea oh, yeah. I am, right? No es I am. <laughs> so yeah, no, yes. Sauce. What is sauce? Salsa. 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 Ajá. So, ustedes pueden decir, cada vez que quieren decir, por ejemplo, uh, salsa de tomate, ¿cómo se dice salsa de tomate? Tomato. Tomato, what? Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Yes. Tomato sauce. Ok, good. Acuérdense de eso, no olviden eso. Cada vez que quieren salsa de lo que sea, tomato sauce o soy sauce. Marinated. What about marinated? Uh, como marinado, uh, marinado. 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 Yes, good. And beef? Marinado. Beef? Carne. Carne, carne de qué? Carne de res. Carne de res. Carne de res. Beef, right. good. Spices. Stew. Spices. Spices. Especies. Ok, ¿alguna palabra aquí nueva? En Brasil, a dish made of black beans, garlic and spices and meat. No? no. Garlic. Uh, garlic, what is garlic? Ajo. Ajo, Ajo. good. Ajo. Ok, what about here? Stew. Stew. Es stew. stew. Uh -huh. Es un guiso o un guisado. Uh -huh. Stew. Por ejemplo, pollo guisado, vegetales guisado. Stew of vegetable. Stew. A stew of vegetable. vegetable. Lamb. 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 Cordero. Cordero. Uh -huh. How about clay dish? Clay. Clay, clay dish. dish. Arturo, yeah. no me te manchando. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> ok. Uh, uh, ya le voy a dar la mano, como dicen, a los niños. <laughs> no, mentira. What is a clay dish? I a can't. Clay dish. I mm -hmm. can in a race out. Yeah, yeah, sí, usted puede borrar también. Clay, mm -hmm. clay dish. Okay. What is a clay dish? Clay dish. Mm -hmm. Plato de barro. Eh. Un plato de barro. Puede ser cualquier cosa de barro. Es clay. Puede ser un clay container, un contenedor de barro. Todo lo que tenga que ver con, ah, con cosas de barro. Eh, usted sabe que hay unos contenedores para beber agua. Clay. Eso es de clay. ¿Ok? Vamos al otro. Vamos a ver. A dish made from a fish head cooked in a rich curry sauce. Okay. Vamos a, a I'm going to ask you this question. I know the answer, but I would like to know from you. Okay. Have you ever tried any of these dishes? Have you ever tried? Yes or no? No. Never. No. Okay. No. no. Never. That's good. Okay, no worries. Okay, what ethnic foods are popular in El Salvador? What ethnic foods are popular in El Salvador? Pupusa. Pupusa. Uh -huh. What else? ¿Qué más? Pupusas. Mm -hmm. um, tamales. Uh, what? Tamales. Uh -huh. Tamales. Tam tamales. Montucas. Yeah. What about Montuca? Mm. Do you know what Montuca is, right? ¿Qué es Montuca? ¿O oh, no saben qué es Montuca? I don't know. Who, who, don't know. who knows about Montuca? ¿Quién sabe acerca de las Montucas? Who knows? <laughs> no, I don't believe you. Are you from El Salvador? Are you from El Salvador? <laughs> Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Mr. Yes, teacher. I'm from El Salvador, but I'm not from Oriente. <laughs> yes. Okay. But Let I me explain sun. what Montuca is. ¿Cómo se deletrea Montuca? Montuca. Mm -hmm. Imagine corn tamales. You know what corn tamales is, right? 
corn tamales. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Ajá. Yeah. Solo imagínense que el corn tamale, you put some pork inside. Pork. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ajá. That is Montuca. Yeah. Noemi, oh. le estoy viendo su cara, Noemi. Hmm. Montuca is good. <laughs> Don't lie, Montuca. <laughs> yes. And you so, are a teacher. Uh -huh, yes. Um, I and like. You, and you eat and, and you eat tamales de candray. Huh? You eat tamales de candray. De candray. What is that? Yes. That is tamales. not from El Salvador, Ronnie. That is not from El Salvador. Yeah, Salvador. Salvador. Only that is from Peru. You go to, probably. You go to Antigua, Cucatlan, and you eat tamales de candray. Oh, okay. Tell me what is tamales de canray? Canray, uh -huh. Ronnie, what is? Can yes. you tell? Can you tell us more about that? Es uh, como el tamal de azúcar, pero con pasas, pero es más suave. I like. Oh, so es tamal de elote, pero con azúcar. Yeah, you go oh. to Antiguo Cuatlán, Antiguo uh -huh. Cuatlán. And you see, uh, and you can't eat tamales de canray. Oh, okay. I cook, I cook tamales. You cook tamales de canray, canray, canray. Yes. Yeah, uh, no. hey. Okay, good. But I think montucas are better. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> no, 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 no that's, I'm just pollo. kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So montuca is a corn tamal with pork inside. Con, puede ser con carne de cerdo. Usually people eat it. I don't like it. I don't like it, Montuca, but that's what Montuca is here in Oriente, in the eastern part of El Salvador. All right. I can't believe it, que El Salvador es tan chiquito y, y todos tenemos comida diferente. It's unbelievable. Okay, yeah. let's move on. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about what? I'm going to talk about the present perfect and the simple past. Past, present, yes. future. Noemi, what happened, Noemi? Tell us, tell us, Noemi. Noemi is enjoying about Montuca, I guess. Mm -hmm. No? No, he said no. Okay. So today I'm going to be explaining the difference between the present perfect and the simple past. For example, look. Cuando utilizamos el simple present, por ejemplo, una oración como la siguiente. Look, the present tense. I have, I have visited the, the Central Park in New York City. Sí. I have visited the Central Park in New York City. That is what? That is present perfect, right? Ahora vamos a hacer una oración en pasado. ¿Cómo sería una oración en pasado? Ayúdenme aquí, por favor. I I had hmm, I went to Central Park. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you see, wait, give me a second, aquí, okay, okay, here is better, okay, look, what is the difference between I have visited the Central Park in New York and I went to Central Park in New York? Well, in here, I have visited the Central Park, I don't really say how many times, okay? Solo digo que he visitado, pero no digo cuánta, cuántas veces. ¿Ok? However, aquí, I went. Basically, I would say que solo fue una vez. I went. Fui al Central Park. ¿Sí? Fui. ¿Ok? But no worries. This is only the introduction. I'm going to show you another example. Ok. So, how do I know? Okay, how do I know when to use simple past and present perfect? We use the simple past con specific times in the past. Okay, por ejemplo, ¿cómo se le llama a esto? esto yesterday. Que llamo, 
yesterday, five minutes ago, in 2000, the other day, last month. ¿Cómo se le llama eso? Eso se le llama time expressions. This one. Time, time expression. Time expressions. Okay. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué otra time expression do you know en, en el pasado? Para expresar pasado. ¿Qué, other, qué, qué otras time expressions last, do you know? ¿Ah? Last what? Uh, last, the, the, the last, week, last week. Last week. week. Uh, last month. Last month. Last year. Last year. Last year. Mm -hmm. Etcétera, et right? Puede decir también 10 minutes ago. Two hours ago, okay. Look, okay. Teacher, yes. Eh, Se puede decir in the morning. In the morning, yes. Yes. If you are in the afternoon, you can say in the morning I went to morning. work. Okay. Mm -hmm. O por ejemplo, si usted está a mediodía, te puede decir en la mañana. O si usted está, por ejemplo, ahorita en la noche, te puede decir in the afternoon, porque ahorita mm -hmm. está en la noche, okay. right? And that is okay. What? Simple, uh, to express simple past. Look, I went to the park yesterday. yesterday. Ok, entonces, cuando utilizo simple pasado, el pasado simple es, estoy especificando un tiempo en específico. Look, I studied in China. ¿Cuándo? When? In, in, in 2010. In 2010. Good, good, good. Okay. How about the present perfect? Vague times in the past. Okay. Okay. Vague, vague times in the past. Una fecha vaga porque no especifico cuándo. Look, look at the example. I had never gone to the park. Nunca he ido al parque. I had never gone to the park. See? Look at the other one. I haven't been to China yet. See? I haven't been to China yet. All right? Vamos a limpiar esto y vamos a otro ejemplo. Look, vamos al siguiente ejemplo. No worries. I have more examples. Look. El pasado simple. Actions that finished in a definite time in the past. I bought this car. ¿Cuándo? Last week. Last week. Good. Estoy especificando el tiempo y especifico cuándo fue. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, usted me puede decir, oh, yo compré mi celular. ¿Cuándo compraron su celular? Let me see. Mm -hmm. I bought my cell phone. Ah, last year. Last year. <laughs> Three months ago. Three months ah, ago. Five years ago. Five years ago. <laughs> ¿Quién dijo cinco yeah. años? ¿Quién dijo cinco años? Yeah. Who? Droni? The same. Yeah. My phone. Ah. My phone. I bought my, my phone, phone in 2017. Este teléfono lo compré en el 2017. ¿Sí? Yeah. Y todavía, y todavía está bueno. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. ¿Cuántos años sería? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Five years ago. Five years Eight ago. Years ago. <ríe> ok, good. Bueno, look. Entonces, cuando estamos utilizando el pasado simple, ¿se acuerdan que yo les preguntaba acerca de sus vacaciones? ¿Do you remember? Yeah. What yeah. did you do last vacation? Este me dijo, last vacation I went to the beach. Last vacation, I spent time with my family. Last vacation, I slept a lot. Okay. Last vacation, I drank, I drank a lot of water. Ah, no sé qué estaban esperando, ¿verdad? Pero water, water. All right. Wine. Wine. Ah, okay. But, entonces... Yes, water. So, we use, utilizamos el pasado simple para acciones que ya terminaron. Ok? In a definite time in the past. Ok. Also, look. To ask when, what time, and 
where. Por ejemplo, when did they arrive? They arrived an hour ago. An hour, an hour ago. ago. An hour ago. Good. But ahora vamos al otro lado. Then let me move this one. Okay. Cuando utilizamos el present perfect. Actions which happened in a indefinite. Oígame. Indefinido. No especificamos cuándo. Solo que acciones que pasaron. But we do not specify when. Ok. No digo, por ejemplo, he perdido mis llaves hace una hora. Ok. I don't say that. Actions which happened in an indefinite time in, in the past and with visible results in the present. Look, I have lost my lost. key. Pregunto, ¿estoy especificando cuándo perdí mi llave? Uh, no. no. Ok, ya vamos a entender la diferencia, ¿verdad? En el pasado simple especifico cuándo. En el presente perfecto, no especifico cuándo. Vamos al siguiente. Have you seen Anne? ¿Has visto a Ana? And also, She's... okay, to describe very recent actions. Acciones que han pasado recientemente. For example, she has just moved to a larger flat. By the way, in the UK, in UK, flat it's apartment. En Inglaterra, si ustedes escuchan flat, eh, significa apartamento. En Inglaterra. En Estados Unidos es apartamento. También flat, ¿qué significa flat? Usted va manejando. Se le explota algo ahí. Su llanta. Me poncho. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Flat es una llanta ponchada o pinchada o como ustedes le quieran llamar. Flat. Ok. Vamos a ver. Let's continue. Le estoy dando más ejemplos. No se preocupen. Ok. Look at these examples. Simple. Use the simple past for experiences at a definite time in the past. Use the present perfect for experiences within a time of a time period up to the present. For example, you can say, look at this question. Have you ever eaten snails? Okay, I'm going to type something here. Let me see. Aquí le voy a escribir. Para el presente perfecto, yo utilizo el auxiliar have en has. Ok. Have lo uso para los sujetos de subject. I. I. Ok. Let me see. I. You. you. They. 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 And we. We. Okay. Yes, look. For example, uh, let me put in a different color this one. Uh, let me see in a different color. Okay, different color. Oh, no, I just want one. Anyway, I just want this one. Okay, let me see if I can put in a different color. Oh, no, I can. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to put it in capital letter. Lo voy a poner en, ca en letra capital. For example, I have, I, you, they, we have. E iba el complemento. ¿Cómo sería un, una oración acá? I have, yo he, what? Bien. Necesito el pasado participio. Pas participio. Pas participio. ¿Cuál sería? Estoy haciendo oraciones positivas, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo sería acá? Vamos a ver, aquí lo voy a poner. 
I, you, they, we have past I, participle and then the complement. Complement. Okay. ¿Cómo sería una oración? I. Hagámoslo con I. I. I, I have. I. Vamos aquí rápido. Uh -huh. I have. I have. Drive. Uh, driven. Ajá. Driven. Ajá. Ajá. Driven. Um, a long of day. A long day. Okay, good. I have driven a long day. Si ¿Sí ven, no especifico cuándo, solo digo, ah, he manejado un largo día. ¿Verdad? Ok. I had driven. Ok. Y ahora para, para he, he has, she, and it, ¿cuál sería? It has. Has, correcto. Más el que, pas participo, plus complement. Ok, I don't like the red color, I'm going to choose a, a a brighter color. No, peor ese. <laughs> Let me see. A blue color. Okay. That's much better, I guess. Okay. ¿Cómo sería una oración ahí? He. He has. He, he has been. He has been. Work. Mm, he has been. At the work. At the work. Oh, in the work. In the work. Okay. He has been in the work. Or oh, in the workplace. Okay. He has been in the workplace. Okay. ¿Estamos claro ahí cuando utilizamos have and has? Are we clear? Yeah. Yes. Ok, good, good, good. Ok, voy a llevar esto acá y lo voy a tener aquí cerca. Ok, let me see. Um, I'm going to put it right here. Ok, right here. Let me see, I don't have a space, so I'm going to put it right there. All right. So look at this question. Have you ever eaten snails? Cada vez que utilicemos el presente perfecto, ¿El verbo irá en qué tiempo? ¿Irá en pasado? Yes or no? Pas participo. Good. Ok. Una recomendación para el día de mañana, porque ya el tiempo se nos fue. Quiero que, por favor, la tarea para mañana será practicar los verbos en pasado participio, porque los vamos a necesitar. Ok. That's going to be the assignment for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow you are going today, mañana. Eh, eh, quiero que practiquen por favor los verbos en pasado participio, porque eso es muy importante que se sepan los, los verbos en pasado participio y también los verbos en simple past, en pasado normal. Okay. Because it's very important to do the activity, the different activity that we're going to do. Ok, oh, sería entonces practicar el pasado simple y el pasado participio de los verbos. Ok, antes de irnos, ok, antes de irnos, vamos a ver si lo practicamos. Simple past. Quiero que me escriban una oración de algo que ustedes han hecho durante su vida. Por ejemplo, I have taken an airplane. Me he subido o me he montado a un avión. In my case. What about you? Puede ser positivo, puede ser negativo. Mire mi oración negativo. I haven't driven a motorcycle. No he manejado ninguna motocicleta aún. Ajá. Escríbanme una oración acerca de ustedes. Puede ser positiva, puede ser negativa. I have... What? 
I have what? Recuerden, aquí, y eso me gustaría mencionarlo, ya casi nos terminamos, ya casi terminamos el tiempo. Lo que yo diga I have, no me estoy refiriendo a que yo tengo, ¿ok? No, no. Sino que es yo he. Yo he. Uh -huh. ¿Me pueden regalar una oración, por favor, aquí en el chat? Vamos a ver, Brenda. I have not okay. traveled to any country. Good, Brenda. Good example, Brenda. I haven't traveled to any country. Good. Otro ejemplo, por favor. Vamos. Y con eso terminamos la clase. Vamos a ver, Eric. I haven't eaten pupusas Good. with may mayonnaise. Oh, Eric. No sabe de lo que se aprende, Eric. <laughs> vamos a ver, vamos a ver, José Arturo. I have been in Costa Rica. Okay, good. I have been to Costa Rica. Good, good, José Arturo. Vamos a ver, excelente. Estoy esperando a Noemi, estoy esperando a Elsie, estoy esperando a Marvin, estoy esperando a Elmer. Okay, vamos a ver, Elmer. I haven't been to Europe. Good, good, very good. Mm, Noemi, necesito que me diga I have... Ah, porque ahí lo que me está diciendo es que se ha montado en una raft. Uh -huh. I have. Recuerda que si me da el pasado, me tiene que decir cuándo hizo eso. Vamos a ver, Marvin. I haven't eaten pupusa with milk. <ríe> Good example, Marvin. Good example. Vamos a ver, Ronnie. I have been in the United States. Ok, Good. Vamos, vamos. Elsie, I haven't taken a helicopter. Good, Elsie. Ok, vaya, por si no me escribieron una oración, mañana vamos a terminar el tema. Vamos a terminar este tema y vamos a comenzar otro tema mañana. Ok, so quiero agradecerles. Yo sé que vienen de vacaciones, los que tuvieron vacaciones y muchos de ustedes están como, no, I don't want to go to class tonight. Pero I am happy that you were here. Ok, so I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a wonderful night and please repasen los verbos en pasado y pasado participio, ok ok ok, so Topic have case. a wonderful okay. night I will see you tomorrow ok, okay. okay. So, bye 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 okay, teacher. see you tomorrow okay.